It's meant to be a bullet hell cooking game. People ask you for a meal, and you summon the relevant ingredients, all of which shoot you, whilst you cook and combine them. You have to then punch the finished meal into one of these service holes in order to serve it to the customer. At the moment there's no cooking or combining, just summoning ingredients and serving them raw. There are a few pieces of design that quickly seem like they'll be difficult. I would like for foods to be able to be cooked or chopped, but the question is how do we show the status of these foods to the player? How to inform them that the food in question has been chopped into three pieces and cooked by 30%, for instance? It is possible that I would have to make many sprites per food for various stages of chopping and cooking and whatever other processes can be done to food, like perhaps beating or soaking. Perhaps there is some way to use a shader for this purpose. Another alternative is to simply use UI bars, but those are very non-diegetic, and I prefer to avoid them where possible. How are recipes taught to the player? What I want is to foster the spirit of experimentation. You combine three sets of nose wart and a pop of roadkill and see what happens without really any prompting. But as it stands, the restaurant board is a very high-intensity environment, with not really any time for experimentation, and that would require making an ungodly amount of sprites and meals for every possible combination. The holy grail here would be some kind of procedural meal system to take the ingredients and processes and figure out what meal results from them, ranking the meals based on some factors like food groups, flavour, texture, etc. Realistically, I probably wouldn't be able to make any such system anytime soon, at least not without a lot of abstraction. So the alternative is to have, like Minecraft, a big list of recipes. And if you meet the conditions of a recipe, the ingredients vanish and the combined product appears. Another question, what's the greatest gameplay loop of this? In other words, what's the progression from hour to hour? Is it like a roguelite where you restart a bunch, or closer to a management game where you're building up your restaurant over the course of an elongated campaign? Many questions there are, and few answers. Perhaps I will emerge later with a more complete game, or perhaps I will not buy. Whee!